everyone, Mortgage Nerd here. I want to talk to you today about all this stuff we're hearing of people saying unemployment is going to drive us into a market crash. I'm going to show you other stats. Yeah, unemployment is extremely high. Double digits, 20, 30 percent. All depends. But here's the thing. How many people are actually in forbearance? 8.8 percent are in forbearance. What's happening to mortgage applications? All applications are up two and a half percent. What about purchase applications? They're up nine percent. Nine percent purchase applications. That's nationwide. Every region has different activity. Here in Miami, every realtor I know and every mortgage professional I know are extremely busy. We're going crazy. I wake up, I start working. I'm in bed at night with my wife, I've got my laptop open. Kids, kind of dealing with it, spending time. At least on the weekends, I'm free completely to focus on them. But let's look at the big picture. Yes, unemployment is skyrocketing. What's gonna happen when everybody goes back to work? They're in forbearance. They're not in foreclosure. They start their payments up again when they start working. This isn't the market crash of 12 years ago. Commercial properties, it's completely different. A multifamily building, where it's six, 20, 30 renters, sometimes in the lower end of the economy, which are the ones that are impacted the most, that's where I think we're gonna be, see a real big hit. Commercial Realtor was telling me just yesterday, on Miracle Mile and Coral Gables, the leases are coming in at 40% lower than they were before COVID-19. So yes, commercial property is gonna be hit hard. We're gonna see a lot of good deals in that coming in the future. Yeah, we're gonna see some foreclosures. But with all these applications, not that many forbearances in comparison to unemployment, I think we're gonna be fine. I think we really are. So keep buying, take advantage of these low rates, this purchasing power, which I mentioned in a previous video. Go ahead and watch that. Watch how far your dollar stretches you at a 3% rate, 3.085 APR, versus what it was two years ago, year and a half ago, when rates were in the fives. APR about 5.1 there. Phil Stevenson, Mortgage Nerd. Thanks.